Somers is here with me again today, and we're continuing the discussion we started last week. Uh, we've been talking about uh, the two the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Satan. Now, we've, we started the discussion last week on the armor of God, and the armor of God is what God has put in place as the protection after you've been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God. Now, we want to understand the context. I was asking the question last time about whether or not, uh, you know, this is a, a physical warfare. We have spoken of it, you know, in times past that it's, it, you know, we're always in this spiritual, well, warfare, but we never truly understand the context mm -hmm. of this warfare. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you can elaborate on that? When we look at what Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10 says in starting out, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Um, verse 11 says, put on the old armor of God. When we think of who God is in terms of his existence, his spirit, that St. John chapter 4 and verse 24 clearly tells us that Jesus says God is spirit and those who worship him should worship him in spirit and in truth. So if, if, if the armor is of God, now when we think of what the scripture says, God is spirit. So you could actually say, put on the old armor of spirit. Mm. So if I'm going to put on the armor that is spirit, it means that it would have to be my spirit that is being clothed with the armor. Right. Because this armor is not about my flesh. It's right. not for my body. It is for my spirit. Mm -hmm. Because it, it is my spirit that was born again and become reconnected with God. It is, it is in my spirit that I am conscious of God. Yes. Outside of that, there is no consciousness of God because God is spirit. So God relates to my spirit. My spirit relates to God. So once I am born again, the kingdom of God is also spirit. spirit. Uh -huh. When we look at Romans chapter four, yes. 14 and verse 17, kingdom of God is, is not eating and drinking, but it's righteousness, it's joy, it's peace in, in the Holy, the Holy, the Holy Spirit. spirit. So all of this is happening in the realm of the spirit. So if I am going to experience the full effect of the protection that is put in place for me, I have to think spirit, spirit. Yes, yes. in order for me to experience it. Because if I'm thinking outside of that, then I am going to, I'm defeating myself at the very beginning. Right. So I said, put on the old armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles or the trickery or the strategy or the schemes of the devil. And then verse 12 comes in now and says, as if it, we didn't, it, like the Spirit is saying, okay, you might have missed what was mm -hmm. said from verse mm -hmm. 10 to 11. So let me spell it out for you to get it clearly. Verse 12 says, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Flesh and blood has to do with what is human, what is natural. physical, what is natural. Yeah. So even the enemy is, is spirit. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. 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 Satan himself is spirit. Because when we go back to look at what the scripture says, in Psalm 104, it talks about that he makes his angel spirit. So Satan was created as an angel, mm -hmm. and then he became corrupt and became Satan, an adversary of God. So he's also spirit. And so the scripture clearly now says to us, for we do not. And, and what I notice as I read this passage, it tells us first what we're not wrestling against. Mm -hmm. To make it clear yes. about what we're wrestling against. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual, spiritual. hosts mm -hmm. yes. of wickedness in the heavenly places. 
So again, even that, when you talk about heavenly places, you're talking about the spirit, spirit realm, realm, the yeah. world of the spirit. So when, 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 when you read in the scripture and it talks about earth, like it says heaven and earth, you're talking about what is uh, celestial and what is terrestrial. So the terrestrial has to do with what is earthly. And the celestial has to do with what is heavenly. So you see two different bodies yes. operating here. So, so sorry, we talk about four things here that we're wrestling against. Principalities, there's mm -hmm. powers, there's rulers of darkness, and mm -hmm. there's spiritual hosts of wickedness. Mm -hmm. Are these all Satan? Yeah, they're all under Satan's control, yeah. under Satan's... All within his kingdom. Within, right? his, within his kingdom. His yeah. So it's an arraignment of what he has set up to oppose those of us who are in the kingdom of God and that is about God's kingdom because it's, it sounds like he has an old artillery exactly because where where we come on the on the more resistance from the kingdom of darkness the the person who simply recognizes God as a reigning king does not get a lot of opposition from Satan it's the one who determined to do the will mm -hmm. yes. of God. Yes. That's when you're going to experience opposition. Because if you remember what Paul said to, to Timothy, he says that those who will live godly, yes. guess what? Will suffer persecution. Mm -hmm. right. So the person who desires to live godly is the person who wants to do God's will. This is the person who doesn't just want to say God, just doesn't want to mention God, right, right. talk right. God. They want to do God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah if yeah, you get what yeah, I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. So those are the ones now that come up under more pressure. Mm -hmm. And this is what we need to understand, that this arraignment is that you look at it and it's an I, it's, it, you, you have an order. So you have an hierarchy of, you notice at the top of it, it's the prince, principalities. Mm -hmm. So then we have powers. Again, those are demonic spirits that have certain abilities. Then you have authorities. So it's about a working, an arrangement here that determines a certain working that is a working against the kingdom of God. Then we have spiritual wickedness in high places. And as you, as, as, as you come down the, the, the ladder, down the chart, mm -hmm. the demons become more wicked. They're more wicked because the principalities, the ones that are, that are at the top, they don't do in, in terms of, um, they don't carry out any work. What they simply do is to control. Yeah. They take up a ruling position, and then the others now underneath, they're the ones that carry out whatever activity that needs to be done from Satan's standpoint. So when we look at all of this, and, and at no time, at no time as a believer who is in Christ and in the kingdom of God, all of this is working at you are against you. Right. Okay. They, they, they work at different intervals. It depends on where you are, what mm. you're doing. Right, right. Okay, but they are assigned to oppose yes. Yes. whatever God's want done. Mm -hmm. So then we look at verse 13 now, and it says, Therefore, take up the old armor of God, because after it explained to you that we're not wrestling against flesh and blood, and it, it could explain what we're up against, it said, Therefore, take up the armor of God, the whole armor of God, that you may be able. So you notice now the armor itself is also now giving me an ability, yes. which yes. is the ability of God mm -hmm. yes. that comes to us, what we read about in verse 10. Mm -hmm. Because in verse 10 it said, be strong in the Lord and in the mm -hmm. power oh, of his might. Right. But what does that look like? Now we see that when we put on the whole armor of God, that's where we have access to God's ability because yes. the armor is God. That's yes, right. Yes. So God is the one that is actually playing out and doing everything where the armor is concerned because it's of him, you know? Yeah. So all I have to do is to position myself. So which brings me to this question that I wanted to ask. Is there a difference between putting on the armor and putting on Christ? Yes. Because when you talk about put on Christ, is to understand what, what, what does Christ mean? Mm -hmm. What does Christ look like? Mm -hmm. So when we put on Christ, it means that we're putting on his kingship. We're recognizing mm -hmm. that he is king and he is the son of God. So when I believe that, I am putting on Christ. Mm -hmm. So I, Could it be more, is, is it more like, because um, once you said that, 
I'm thinking, is it more of a complementary type uh, connection between the two? One complements the yes, other, or one work in alignment with the other? It's like, you know, they're they work in, alignment in conjunction with each, other. with each other? They do. Yeah. They do. Because again, in order for me to come into the kingdom of God and live in the reality of the kingdom, I have to believe in Christ. Because what the scripture requires of us, like for instance, when you listen even to the church and when we do what we call evangelism, we require the, the, of, the, of the, the person that we would call a sinner or an unsaved person, we say to them that they need to receive Jesus or receive Christ. That's not biblical. What the scripture says, that we should repent towards God, believe in Christ, and receive the Holy Spirit. Never say we should receive Christ. Believe. So when we believe in Christ, what it does for us, it gives God the power to take us from the kingdom of darkness and place us into the kingdom of his dear son. So believing in Christ is that we're coming to submit ourselves to the rule that of Christ. Mm -hmm. And so when we receive the Holy Spirit now, the Holy Spirit is the one that brings us into the reality of that experience. So without, without receiving the Holy Spirit, we cannot experience the rule of Christ. Mm -hmm. And that's right, the right, order that the scripture right. puts it in. So now when we look at this, they work together, putting and, on and Christ. Is that what now puts you in position to be able to, to put on the armor? It, 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 it's not put you in position to put on the old armor. Because again, when it talks about it, it said put on the old armor of God. How do I put it on? Is, is it that I am the one who put it on? Or is it that I understand that the moment I come to faith in Christ and I am taken from the kingdom of darkness, God clothed me. Okay. So the putting on is, is about... Awareness. It's an awareness. Okay. Consciousness. Of it's yes. a consciousness yes. of it. So that's when I come into the experience. I am now activating the experience of it. Okay? Mm -hmm. So it, it, it says, therefore, take up the whole armor of God. So this is an awareness that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And there's some things that we want to look at and explain for people to get understanding here. Because if we don't understand these things, then looking at the armor itself, we're, we're, we're going to be missing out. There's going to be some glitches or something there. If you notice, it says that we will be able to stand in the evil day. The evil day. The, a day in and of itself is not evil. Right. This is the day that the Lord has made. Exactly. A day evil. in and of itself is not evil. But what is happening here when, when you say an evil day? An evil day is when the evil one comes up against you right okay because when you talk about evil 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 does not exist of itself evil comes from an evil person mm -hmm. it's a person that is evil does evil okay you, you understand yeah it, just like good good of itself does not exist right. it's a person it's a person who does good allow good to be put on display like the scripture yeah. said god is good and he is good to all so when we come to experience god we experience his goodness, goodness. so it says now that we when we understand the old armor of god for what it is we are able to under recognize this that in any given day that the evil one may choose to come up against us we need to be not afraid, but be aware of the fact that we are protected from that evil yes. day. Right. right. You're getting it? Yes. So it says, now we'll be able to withstand in the evil day, having done all to stand. It says, stand therefore, having maintain. Done, having done all, what is it talking about? Having done all. Having done all has to do with you, the, the, the awareness and you believing. Okay. That, the that whole this whole armor is, and this is protection is there. in place for it you. It exists, yes. It exists. Because remember again, we, we live by faith. The just shall live by faith. So it says, now having done all where faith is concerned, having done all where the consciousness of God's armor is there for you, having done all in the fact that you're trusting the armor too. Yes. Because if I am not trusting the armor to protect me because it's God's armor and God has given it for me, 
to be protected by it. If I don't trust it, I am not going to be protected. So having done all and of that. Was, and that kind of have the faith aspect to it too. Because yeah. if you're going to experience God's yeah. yep. attributes in any, any way, shape, or form, you have to believe that he is. Yes. Yep. And the provision that he's put in place for yes. you, it exists. It is there. Exactly. So, you, you know, <laughs> it, the faith, and that's why the, even the Sheila faith is in the whole thing anyway. Yes. It, yeah. It, it, it's, uh, I'm looking at it, Pastor, and, and, and as it says, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. A lot of people take that to think that, you know, you know, you know, all these different funny things. But when it, it's trying to let, what I'm seeing from it is letting me know that, hey, the devil that you're fighting is not a physical devil. No, 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 no. no. He's not a no. physical person. Yeah. He's a spiritual being that, yes, he may use physical people. Yeah. But behind the physical person, it's not, uh, it's a spiritual being that is influencing that person or that attitude or that uh, behavior or whatever it is to try and come against you or attack you so when if if i'm now uh if i now say i'm gonna fight this thing now or resist this thing and come to you from a fleshy standpoint i'm gonna create destruction i'm oh, gonna yeah, hurt yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. i'm gonna bring all kind of and destruction yourself. and, and hurt, hurt myself yourself. too right, yes, right. Yes, that's yes, right yeah but if i understand now as we're talking about understand that this is a spiritual confrontation here it's not a physical confrontation there's a spirit that's behind the scene that is working to bring, uh, to bring about its will against me or to keep me out of God's provision, blessing, or whatever it is. And I think what happens a lot of times within the church, in the framework of the church, is that mm-hmm. we, we neglect these kind of a passages. Mm-hmm. And when we see something happen, we, we start to um, just fulfill the will of the devil. We start mm-hmm. hating each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We start um, backbiting. We start doing all these different things because we're trying to get back at the person, right, right. Right. not understanding that there's a force, there's a principality, there's a power, right. there's a spiritual right. wickedness behind the, spirit. Behind the, behind whole, the, the, whole, yeah. the whole structure. Yeah. Yeah. And if we can now elevate our thinking and elevate our, ourselves and deal with that, whatever it is, from a spiritual perspective, from, from the, right the place realm, of the, the right realm, realm of the spirit, then we can see a different result. And that's a part of having done all. Yeah. Is yeah. that I am coming into this knowledge. I have the knowledge. I have the understanding. Mm-hmm. So the moment anything shows up that is now going to present itself in an evil way, immediately mm-hmm. yes. I am rightly recognizing wow. the source. Yes, yes. Rather than just looking at and thinking as a person. Immediately. So that's where now we're even able not to harbor any grudge mm-hmm. against a person, mm-hmm. malice or whatever, because the moment something happened, I am so fully aware and conscious of what the warfare is about and what it looks like, that instantly I can recognize. And you mentioned something about uh, celestial and terrestrial. Mm-hmm. As long as we're in the terrestrial, as long mm-hmm. as we're down here, mm-hmm. the devil will only use terrestrial things to bring about his celestial idea yeah, yeah, because yeah. he wants to confuse us and exactly yeah, because yeah. I, and again you can't fight a battle and you're just like what's going on even in the in the middle east mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's it's virtually impossible for the west or whoever else is fighting against the terrorist activities and so on uh to defeat them by trying to fight them from being up in the air with planes <laughs> or yeah, being yeah, yeah. from another place they have to go in the territory yeah, yeah, in order yeah, to yeah. overthrow right, the force right. that is that is active within that territory. Yeah, yeah. And it's the same thing. For us to overthrow the enemy, we can't be fighting a terrestrial thing where, you know, a flesh and blood thing and expect that we're going to overthrow the spirit that's behind the thing. We have to go into so the, the realm, realm of the spirit where the yes. thing is. Yes. Yes. And yes. that's where yes. we can now yes. have power. Yes. I mean, I mean, I won't say have power, but <laughs> have an influence or an ability to impact that yeah. spirit that is in yeah. operation. And then you understand how oh, that's the ability God is giving and that's us the, when that's he gives us yeah. the armor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because notice the whole armor of, of God, God, which is all spirit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So should we be um, or, or stand from a, from, a, from, a, from a, because knowing that the battle is already won, right? Mm-hmm. The, I mean, Christ has already defeated him. So our stance then, should it be from a, from a defensive position or an offensive position? Knowing it, that it's it's from an op- offensive position mm-hmm. in the sense that we understand that Christ has already won the victory but the enemy's coming to is is like he's coming to take it from you 
So when you understand that you have been given the armor of God, you stand in your position in a resisting way that I am not going to let the enemy take this from me because this is given to me by God. Yes. The moment I come into the kingdom of God. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when, when we look at the whole thing, it's... Uh, 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 we, we have to have the understanding that Jesus Christ has already defeated Satan also. Right, right. So Satan, in, 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 in being defeated where his works is concerned against us, he's still coming to try to get me to think. Right. Or to doubt. Or to, exactly, yeah. what, what God to has, doubt. Yeah, yeah. What God has done, and that's why we want to go in and look at the armor in detail yes. to see what Paul is really talking about. Because if, if, I, if I doubt my salvation at any given point, mm. you create a loophole, a breach. Okay. That's when the mm. stealing, the, the, the killing, and the destruction can take exactly. place. Exactly. Yeah. So now, when we look at what he says, now you know, having done all to stand in the, in the evil day and say, having done all to stand, he said, stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth. So the first thing that we see mentioned where the armor is concerned is the belt of truth. Now Paul is, is using the, the Roman soldier and he, he, this is something that these people saw on a daily basis because wherever he was, whether it was Ephesus, Colossus, Philippi, Galatia, Pergamum, Pergamos, name it. The Roman has now occupied this, this, these areas. And once they occupy it, they have within these areas where you talk about like Herod as a king, and then you have the governors, and then you have a centurion who is in charge of the army. So they have these different posts. posts. And so they have the soldiers there. So they're seeing them on a daily basis, and they have on their armor. So when Paul is using this imagery, they can relate to it. Mm -hmm. And it, it, when I read it, I said, it's funny that he start out with the belt because the belt was one of the last things that the soldier would put on. Because after he put on all the other pieces, the belt is what now comes to hold right, it together. Right, right. But he start out with the belt for us to understand something now because it, this is crucial. Yes to everything else. Yes, yes. Because again, he's not talking about a physical, physical belt. Exactly. So when you look at it, he said the belt, which is truth. Mm -hmm. So our belt is truth. So we have to start out with truth. Yes. And truth is not what I think, it's not what I feel, it's not what someone says. It's not a religious idea. It's not a religious not a idea yeah. either. Truth is who God is and what God right, says. Right, right. Yes. And if I am not look at, looking at everything from that standpoint, then I am losing. I, I can't even touch the other rest of armor. I can't put them on. So truth has to be in place first. The way I view God. What is my view of God? How do I view God? Is it according to his word or is it according to my opinion? Because you see, we have a lot of idolatry today that is plaguing the church. Because people think that because we don't have gods of silver and gold and stone and things built up and put in that we're looking at with our physical eyes and we can touch them. We think that we're free from idolatry. But the idolatry is, is in our minds. Yes, the yes. ideas that right. we have right. that is not in alignment with God and his word, they're idols. Even our religion can be a, a, an idol. Yes. Of course. You know, a, a denomination can exactly. be an idol. The way we oh. do things. The way we talk, it can be an idol because, again, if we're embracing an idea that is not governed by the truth of God's word, it's an idol. It's an idol. And so when I look at it, I said, why, why would Paul start out using the belt, which is in the mind of the people, they're saying, but well, the belt would be the last thing that the soldier would take mm -hmm. because after I put on all that pieces and all of that, the belt is what now used to so hold together, it right. together. Mm -hmm. But then I look at it and I said, you have to look at what the belt represents. Yes. And it's truth. truth. Yeah. So truth is where we have to start Truth is out. first. It's truth, a primary. It, truth is primary. Oh it. it is the first thing. Because if we're not having truth right. guiding us, mm -hmm. nothing else matters. Yeah. 
Because even if even if I'm having faith in something that is not true, it's not going to work. No. Uh, Please. I'm holding no. up the shield, but what, what what's behind that? What's what's sustaining <laughs> that is is an error. And it's remember, error, so it's remember, not going to work. What is driving Satan? What is the very nature of the devil that is coming against us? He is a liar yeah. and the father. Oh, father of of lies. So every influence that is coming from him is a lie. Is a lie. Mm -hmm. So I have to be fully aware of what God's truth is. Everything in regards to God and the things of God, how we even view each other, how we, we, we the, 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 the things of the kingdom, all of that. Truth has to be guiding us in order for us to come into the full effect of that protection on a daily basis. Stand therefore having girded your waist with truth. I want us to go into identifying truth. Yep. What is truth? Yep. And that's what we're going to do next time. Yep. Uh, thank you for tuning in to Kingdom Living Now. We're discussing the armor of God, and we're talking about the, the different parts of the armor as, as we put on this armor of God. Um, today, we started out with talking about the belt of truth, and we're going to continue next time as you join us again on Kingdom Living Now.